Hey guys, what's going on? So we got Gary's 2011 Ford Ranger here in the garage. So we're gonna take the caliper off and change the rotor out and we'll get a 14 millimeter socket on. And I'm gonna take the two caliper bolts off here. I'll show you how to collapse the piston on the caliper. Get the two bolts out. So this is a dual um, piston caliper. So we're gonna roll the front top off here and we're gonna start collapsing the piston slowly. And then we're gonna roll the bottom up and let's start collapsing the bottom piston. And you go slow we're gonna to get to a certain point where we're gonna push the brake pad back up against the pistons. And then we'll get, the, we'll wedge the bar in between the brake pad. So now we're pushing on both pistons. We're just trying to get the, the caliper uh, pistons completely collapsed. And we should be there right now, so let's pull the caliper off. Both the pistons are collapsed now, so we can sit this up on top here. And we got 15 millimeters here to crack these two loose. And we use the half inch drive ratchet uh, to crack them loose, kind of tight. You could impact, get them with an impact gun. I'm gonna crack them loose with this and then probably use my 38 ratchet to finish taking them out. And these are 15s. The road is already loosened up. So we'll take the brake bar off now and we'll bring it over on the bench. And this particular model, I usually like to try and load the brake pads in the uh, bracket and then put them on, but these are a little funny when you put them on. Um, they just keep sliding around, sliding off. So I find that if you, we'll put the clips on the new, the new clips on the bracket, and then we'll, we'll bolt it on with the rotor, and then we'll slip the brake tabs on last. Just went a little easier. So slide this off. We're gonna bring this over to the bench, and the rotor just slips right off. All right. All right, so we're just gonna knock the brake pads out. Hey, I'm <laughs> Look who showed up, huh? Special guest appearance. <laughs> All right, so we roll these off. Now we're using our file um, that we have right here. Right here, inside me. We're gonna clean our caliper bracket. And we're just filing these down to get the rust off so that our new clips fit right in here. Just wanna see a little bit of shiny metal. You know you're getting the, the rust off, you know? So, get that one off, that's good. Let's do this side. On these brake pads, there's no warning tab on them so the brake pads you can put them on either way um, which is okay All right. okay so we get that clean we can pull our caliper pins out Start lubing these up. We 
can stick a little in the boot if you want. Work it down in there. Slide that back on. Do the next one. This one has a little rubber grommet on the end of it. Do them one at a time so they don't confuse it. Slide that in. All right, so now we're gonna put the new clips on that they gave us in the kit. Oh, yeah. Normally I like to load the brake pads on them at this time, but these are gonna be a little difficult. So, so you got the clips here that you have to lock in. flat like there so these are locked in now to this side these can be sharp so be careful okay so those are all locked in now we're going to lube these up the tracks the slides I should say with a brake pad slide and normally at this point, I like to put the brake pads in here, but these are just being a pain in the ass. So we're just gonna, it's easy to put the, the bar on the vehicle with after the road is on and then slip your brake pads on and you can roll the brake pads in sideways. We'll show you what we mean on how to put them on. And they, they went together a lot easier. So just trying to get a good coating in here. Okay, so the bracket's all set. The pins are done, the clips are in. We file the inside slides clips are on nice and tight. We're going to clean our brake rotor here. Get a little bit of car clean. For the record, that's Tony's Bud Light right there. Yeah, I don't drink no, Bud no. Light. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sam Adams, guys, Steve. Oh, jeez. Huh? <laughs> We're up here in the north. <laughs> All right, let's go uh, never seize the spindle and um, get the rotor slipped on. And we'll put a lug nut on to hold it on in place. Flip our rotor on. I'm going to put one lug nut on just hold the rotor in place for us, which is nice. And we'll grab our caliper bar and bolt that on. And we're going to never seize all of our caliper bracket bolts. All right, that just holds the roller on point. Yeah. We'll get our bolts all never seized and we'll come back when we put the bracket. All right, we never seized that spindle hub. We have uh, the new rotor on and we're going to slip the bracket on right now. We've got one of the 15 started right there. Let's catch the other one. I'm gonna tighten these right down right now. So we got the outside pad and we got them on a little bit of an angle here, like that, and then you can push them in. We got to do the same on the inside. Okay, we kind of got them on an angle like that, All right? Okay, we got them in. It's just easier to put them in than it was to put them in on first. So, all right. So now we're going to lubricate our caliper. We got some caliper pin lube here, synthetic, and we're just putting it on the boots. I want these to stay moist. Okay, I got that. And you gotta make sure you don't have a kink in your hose. Let me slide this on. Line up our caliper pin so that they're on the flat side here. 
Same thing with the bottom one. It's got to be flat. And just push them in a little bit on the flat side. We got our bolts here. Line these up. Okay. Let's get this bottom one in. We're gonna put our 14 millimeter back on. Snug these down. Okay, let's get this top one. Okay, that one's tight. Alright, this one's tight. Now we're gonna we'll pump up the brake pedal and we'll check our fluid level. It's the same procedure for the opposite side, same thing.